Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks View and welcome back to my kitchen. We are making a delicious sweet potato and cardamom pie. Yes, that's right. It's the holiday season and it is pie time. I have my pie crust here and I need to get it in the oven. I'm going to bake it at 425 for 15 minutes or until it's golden brown. Cardamom is one of those ingredients that not many people are fully aware of. It's a delicious seed or pod that is ground up and um, you know, it has a strong flavor. I use it in a Swedish bread that I make that is braided for Christmas time. And um, I had seen this recipe in an old vintage cookbook and thought, oh, I love cardamom. I always am like, well, what am I gonna do with all this cardamom? Uh, and so I thought, I'm gonna try this delicious sweet potato pie, and you know what? It was absolutely spectacular, so I am here to share it with you. So stay tuned to this fabulous recipe of sweet potato and cardamom pie. Let's get our ingredients in the bowl. We have our sweet potato that we're gonna put in. All these measurements will be in the description down below. And we have our egg. Oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. So I'm a little klutzy. What's wrong with being a klutzy chef? Orange peel. Oh, orange and cardamom go so well together. We have our cinnamon, cardamom, and salt. And our sugar and our vanilla. Before we add our half and half, I'm gonna get this stuff stirred together. It'll just be much easier and not such a sloppy mess. Okay. So I've got some lumps because my sweet potatoes were, you know, fresh. So I'm gonna use this and just really get some of those lumps away. Okay, now we can gently add in our half and half. Kathy, should I cut back on the half and half and have it a little less fattening and use whole milk? Whole, no. <laughs> Did you get that joke? Heck no. You make this pie once a year, use the half and half. If we have enough, wow, I have a lot left over. I think I'm gonna freeze that for another pie. Why not? Okay, now we gently have to get this back in the oven. We have the oven now set at 350 and it's gonna be in for one hour. Okay, let's look inside. Ooh, that looks so pretty. Oh, gotta pull it out and let it sit. Now I could pretend that it's not morning and that I'm in the same tank top as I was in last night. I haven't done a thing to my hair or put any makeup on. My teeth aren't even brushed yet, but this is my breakfast. And I thought, why should I pretend to you guys? So it is what it is, right? I didn't feel like eating it last night, truth be told. I had two glasses of wine and ice cream. But this morning, I was in the mood for some sweet potato pie, and I bought the whipped cream. It's coconut milk whipped cream, so it has a coconut flavor, so that's gonna add to my sweet potato pie too. So let's give this a try for breakfast. Sweet potato cardamom pie. It's very good. I want to I want to try it without the whipped cream, just so I can really taste that cardamom. Very good and spicy. Oh, that is so good. Now, I didn't whip my sweet potatoes and get every itty bitty lump out. I like that you can see. Oh, she made this pie. You know, I like that. I didn't put a lot of the filling in. Uh, I had some left over because my pie crust shrunk down. I did not have it weighted. I'm going to get myself some of those weighted pie beads. 
So some of that, some of that crust shrunk down and made it so I couldn't put as much pie filling in. So that's why my pie isn't as full as I would have liked it to be. But what do I care? It still tastes good. I put that other pie filling in the freezer and I'm gonna make a pie like this again with just half the pie filling. It'll work. Mm. What an amazing breakfast. I mean, why not? People eat danishes. Why can't you have pie for breakfast? Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Please subscribe below to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I'd love to hear from you with a comment, and I'd love for you to tell me what you're cooking and baking this holiday season.